Welcome back to You Heard It Here with Dr. Gary. Have you ever had an ear infection? Well, of course you have. Most people get ear infections, both middle and outer ear, especially when they're younger. But as an adult, if you get an ear infection, it can be very uncomfortable. Almost debilitating, in fact. It's amazing how well children deal with the discomfort of an outer ear infection, especially compared to their adult counterparts. Today, we're gonna look at a patient who's got an infection in each ear. Well, we're actually gonna do this in two parts. So for this first video, we're gonna look at their left ear. Now, this patient has been dealing with this ear infection and using drops for the past 10 days. As you can see, that earwax is pretty impacted. There's all sorts of wax and debris down there. So the question is, the drops that they've been using, have they actually been getting to the eardrum? Did you see that wax just move? That's because they were able to Valsalva. Now, when they Valsalva, the wax is moving out towards the opening of the ear canal. That is not my camera moving. What this suggests is either A, the wax is right up against the eardrum, and when they pop their ears or their eardrum moves, the wax moves, or B, there's a pocket of air stuck between the earwax and the eardrum. Given that the Valsalva does not hurt at all, I'm assuming that there is a pocket of air back there, so we're going to try to use the curette or the Jobson horn along with some water to remove the wax, get it away from the ear canal wall, see if we can find the eardrum. This way, when the patient continues to use the drops, they're more effective. If you like these wax removal videos, please take a moment to like and subscribe. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm and allows us to get our videos in front of more viewers. Okay, as we continue, when we remo are removing the wax, the patient's reporting less fullness, especially after they get their ears to pop. So we're gonna keep digging and see if we can't break through and find a way all the way to the eardrum. All right, again, we're trying to get that wax to move away. Unfortunately, as we touch the wax, we see it slide back further down the ear canal. Again, very suggestive that there's an air pocket behind the wax, between the wax and the eardrum. The patient's going to Valsalva, and look at that wax pop right out towards us. So all we're really trying to do at this point is just to break the seal at the side. Breaking the seal, we'll use a little bit of water, see if we can't get down there and get it to move. In a couple of days, you're gonna see part two of this video where we handle this patient's right ear. Now, believe it or not, not only did they have an ear infection in the left ear, but they had an ear infection in the right ear as well. It's kind of that double whammy. Okay, oh, we used some irrigation, and now you can see that that wax is more towards the opening of the ear canal. Let's see what happens as we pull this out and see what we find back there. We just want to grab the debris at the outside. Look, here's some more. Let's get behind it and pull it out and get a good view of the eardrum and really see what this patient's dealing with. And remember, this is after 10 days of using eardrops. and there's the eardrum. This is definitely still an outer infection going on. Again, the patient is able to Valsalva. We see the eardrum moving quite a bit. There is definitely some discoloration and they're being referred back to their primary care doctor. And I'm guessing that they're gonna keep them on uh, the antibiotic drops or oral antibiotics. This has been You Heard It Here with Dr. Gary. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in a few days with part two of this video.